give him favor at the end of the day. They don't want to be, you know, putting their hands down and saying, yeah, go with this one for whatever reason, unless they have a bit of proof behind it, right? So I think that's that's where it's really going towards. It's who's going to provide the most proof, who's going to show it, hey, we're fairly clean, our books are okay. And so that's what you're going to see. It's going to be less of a war between USDC and Tether themselves. It just depends who wants to be more upfront about it. And the thing that I don't really like about that is, is that, again, it's the government fundamentally choosing which way you should be going when really it should be it should be a free market you should be it should be a free market choose what we want to use as our you know preference or stable point all right all right well uh speaking of preference well we have Theros's preferred king here I, i'm just i don't i don't want to you know put words <laughs> uh, we have king charles uh let's let's throw up that picture of king charles if you're wondering yes oh. his parents were third cousins that is real uh queen victoria uh is their common great great grandmother i believe uh fact check me marta Thoros, right right anyways uh yeah, 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 yeah. i mean pull up the picture again i'm sorry my british uh viewers this is not, not financial here, here, but, advice uh, it's just parents are related anyways uh, sorry. We, we love our europeans we love our british uh residents and you know we, we love god save the king and queen here all right well uh the financial services and market act of uk is the, let me say it one more time. Financial Services and Markets Act of 2023. Let me get that right. Uh, they received the royal assent from King Charles. Think of it as the, the UK stamp of approval here. According to His Majesty's Treasury, I just like saying things like that, this act will foster an open, sustainable, and technologically advanced financial services industry. What the heck does that even mean? Um, actually, will enable crypto regulation to support adoption it's supposed to provide sandboxes for them to use, uh, you know, financial services and have some institutions. So create uh, basically closed source betas with cryptocurrencies or sorry, Excellent. blockchain technology. We can't say crypto here. Uh, and with these changes, hey, they're hoping to boost their competitive edge on the global scale. They want to get Damn some right. of these companies that are leaving America, get some of these companies maybe forced out of China. They want to be the new Singapore. They want to be the new Dubai here. But I mean, we may be a small can island, mate. Can they be the next Singapore? Can they be the next Dubai? I mean, is there too much red tape here for that to ever happen? What, what's really going on here? Break it down. You're, you're from the UK. I'm just some dumb American. What does this, what does even an ascent mean? Can you help us uh, just understand this? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. L lucky for you, I was having uh, tea with the king earlier today, and I said, I know Charles, it. I know it. You know, what, what on earth is an ascent? I've been here almost 40 years in this country. What does it actually mean? And he said, uh, I don't know nothing about Bitcoin. I just I just put a rubber stamp on what the government decides to choose. So if I really break it down, all, all a royal assent is actually, it is, it, it is like you said earlier, it's the final stage. The government, or let's just say in this case, yeah, you know what, let me break it down and make it more simple. Let's just say a group of us are creating our own game, right? And yes. And then we go and make our own rules. And then within that group, we all choose between us what the rules actually are. And then we go to our parents, who are the monarchy at this point, and say, hey, this is what we decided. Is it okay that we play this game? And he says... Course, go ahead and do it and then it just becomes brilliant that's it it's as simple as that i personally think it's more of a a, a rubber seal of approval but going back to <laughs> yeah going going back to what you said earlier in all honesty um you know one of the things that our prime minister has been saying is that you know he does want to be seen as the digital hub within the uk and i think one of the things that this bill will do um you know which unfortunately is lacking in the us is that it does provide clarity um, it does provide damn right because we're british man framework and when you have those key elements it does mean that those who want to do business within the uk those who want to operate out you know out of the uk um and again we are a strong economical country overall you know you're allowed to do that now hey, hey wicked regulations without fear of somebody stepping in and shutting your project down or somebody stepping in and having you appear in front of the court for you know whatever reason it may well be because hey i've been following these guidelines that the king has put his stamp of approval of, which the government has written into law as well. So, again, I think it's a good thing. I think it's something that we are all trying to strive towards. I mean, MICA is another example within Europe. We have that regulatory framework there. The UK wants to go a bit more granular so we can, you know, bring in some of that talent as well at the same time since Brexit. I don't think we've been doing it. That's what it's all about. Yeah, talent. So, yeah, bring it in. That's my take. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Marta, let's get another take here, you know, from the UK. Uh, well, you're in Ireland here, so... I mean, they, they want to, they're envisioning a, a gold rush here. We're going to have, you know, all these companies coming over the borders. We're going to attract all this talent. All these engineers are going to move in there. Well, my knowledge of Ireland basically begins and ends at, with uh, Jameson whiskey. So I, I'm not sure. I mean, is 
can that happen? I mean, is the hub there? Is the, the framework there where this might be a potential digital gold rush? First of all, that is all you need to know about Ireland. Maybe get okay. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Irish okay. <laughs> Whiskey. Uh, Jameson is top notch. But, um, in terms of gold rush, first, I, I, I mean, they would have to take a lot of steps forward after taking so many steps back. Um, they have clamped down on leverage trading. So many banks are limiting um access to um exchanges paying in. I, they're blocking your account. So there's. I feel certainly no gold rush here, even with this stamp of approval. And guys, just to be clear, Ireland is not England. I'm in the Republic. There is Northern Ireland that is partially belonging to England. So there are two different countries. That yeah, that, that's the problem, like. 